morning guys and welcome back to our channel today i'm going to kind of walk through our double decker bus bathroom tour for those of you guys who don't know i live in a double decker bus named florence um, downstairs there is a bathroom uh, living room kitchen and sofa area or reading nook as i call it and upstairs is the master bedroom the kids bedroom and a playroom slash homeschool room i have not showed a ton of life in a double-decker bus because as most of you know, unless you're new to this channel, I am a single mom to two boys. Sparrow is four and Bodhi is three. This year has been such a wild, crazy ride for us that we have not gotten as much done as we need to. So it's slow rolling, but I think for as big of a project as it is, um, we've made a lot of progress. So I'm finally to the point of showing you guys our mostly completed bathroom. Um, I'm saying mostly completed because I, my style, my ideas, my things change when I um, A, get more money, or B, see different things that kind of inspire me to change it. Um, the bathroom took quite a long time because I jumped from idea to idea to idea. There was so many amazing ideas that I wanted to um, work with or to execute, but there were things that either didn't fit in the budget or just didn't really work for the space. And so it was just kind of perfecting what I thought would work best in a small space to make it feel bigger, to make it feel the vibe that we were going for. I wanted it to feel serene, relaxing, and very calming. Most of us, it's the same, where life is just go, go, go. It's hectic and stressful and crazy all the time. And I wanted our home to be a place that was relaxing and calming and just felt like it could bring us down and we could feel at peace here. Um, so I went on Pinterest and I worked with a color tone board. At first I wanted these like beautiful emerald greens and it to be a very bright bohemian feel to the room. Um, but as I looked into more ideas, I chose to do something more simple and minimalistic as this was my first time renovating a bathroom. Um, I also thought it was it's smart to do something a little bit simple. So I chose white, uh, natural woods, oranges, and gold as the color tone to start with. Of course, we did decorate it for Christmas, but we still kept it minimalistic with whites and greens. Um, I also wanted this bathroom to have a lot of plants, a lot of beautiful plants in there. Um, so I started out with a couple. Of course, we were hitting right into winter, so there were not a lot of plants that were going to survive. And I've been keeping them in the sun and keeping them under a heat lamp and keeping them watered on time. So they are doing fine, but one of them did pass away. It is better. So I am really quick going to speak on some of the touches in our bathroom. Um, I know a lot of the questions of when we were moving into a double decker bus is what are we going to do as a as a bathroom as a toilet and for us being stationary and having two kids one that's potty trained one that's trying to potty train and myself i wanted to be able to have a bathroom to where i didn't have to like have one napping and then have to rush somewhere to take the other one to the bathroom i just wanted it easy and accessible so through our research and looking on other people's ideas on Instagram. This is our cat Salem. Like I was saying, I wanted our bathroom situation to be easy and accessible and something where we could use bathroom when, when needed. Um, so through our research and other people's posts on Instagram, we found the nature's head composting toilet. Composting toilet seemed a little bit daunting at first. I am a germaphobic. I, with germaphobe, I don't know how you say that. I do not like germs. I actually have Asperger's, so the thought of that was kind of overwhelming for me, but we're here to say that it's been a year and we've been doing just fine. Um, the way that the toilet works is the liquid waste goes into the front compartment completely separate. Um, every time that you're done going pee, you spray it with a vinegar and water um, solution and it's fine we haven't had a single issue with smell i do empty it out pretty regularly but we haven't had any issues with smell quite quite yet crossing my fingers that doesn't happen the solid waste that goes in a separate compartment so you have to open the side so that it can go down into the base of the toilet and we have it with peat moss and so you just turn it and it basically composts um the first time that i emptied it out i was like panicked, stressed out, totally afraid. It honestly 
did not smell when I emptied it out. It didn't even look like there was poop in there. It was all composted. It looked fine. So that was one less thing to stress about. The toilet has actually been really simple and easy to keep clean, to keep the smell gone. It's simple and easy for the kids to use. And so we've had a pretty good experience thus far with the toilet. The next thing that I wanted to execute is because the space is so small and we're working with a lot less room and height in there, I wanted to basically turn it into a wet room. The shower doesn't have a lot of space. Thankfully, I'm 5'2", so I can fit into a smaller space and I just have two young kids and animals that can also be bathed in there. So I didn't need a huge space. I was fine having it to where you had to sit down and shower or you had to move around and shower. Um, but because of that, I wanted to not have to worry about the water getting to the toilet or getting to the floor or getting all over the place. So I decided to, to turn it into a wet room. I love the look of the wet room. Um, I love the idea of it and the accessibility of it. So we decided to turn it into a wet room. Um, so that was just picking out the tile. I picked out tile that was pretty simple. I will have it linked down below if I can find it. Oh, that was pretty simple from Lowe's. It's just a penny round tile. It's great for traveling if we were going to in the bus because the little circular tire tiles are harder to crack with movement. We used flexible grout. Um, and then I chose, I think, alabaster grout. I wanted a very natural, light look to it, to where it kind of just all smoothed together. It basically looks like sand. It's textured like sand. The color's like sand, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The shower head I got from Amazon. It's more of an old world style, um, but I think it flows in really nicely, and I plan to, like, hang little eucalyptus on the top. And then I... For now, I went back and forth for such a long time about what to do about a door. Like, did I do a sliding wood door? Did I want to just do a plexiglass wall? Did I want to do a million different things? And I honestly still can't choose. Um, and it's not needed right now. Like I said, it's just me and my two kids. Like, I'm going to shower when they're asleep anyways. It's not a big deal. So I just chose to put up a shower curtain rod. And I'm just going to put a very min minimalistic white or cream maybe light pink shower curtain across for now, and it's gonna work. Sorry, my son's doing quiet time. He normally does it downstairs, but I had him do it upstairs today because I don't have a heater on downstairs. Um, and it's a little, he likes, he gets distracted if he can see me and talk to me. So I just had to help him with that. Um, what I was saying, oh, one of the touches that I added to the bathroom that I've loved so far is I got those Ikea shelves things, the ones that can be inserted into a wall or on the window and you can put plants in them. Um, I got two rows of that and I just have them going straight across. I'm planning on putting bath toys for the boys, um, probably plants in two or three of them, and then just some other bathroom things that we might need in there, just to give it a little bit of extra storage. We do have two shelves on the side as you have seen in the video, but I wanted to give it just a little bit more storage because we do have a lot of bathroom stuff and I just like having that option of a little bit more space. As some of you might have noticed in the video, I do, I, I thought he was talking to me, he's just playing and saying my name. Um, as some of you guys might have noticed in the window, because I've gotten a couple comments on it but not much, I do have a little plexiglass window at the top of the bathroom. Um, I don't know why, I saw a lot of people doing it on Pinterest and it just looked really cute. It was a cool angle to look into. Um, it's a way that I can peek on the boys to make sure that they're not getting water everywhere when they're showering without distracting them. Um, it lets in more light. I just thought it was a cool idea. So that is one thing that I still do have to add to the bathroom is lights. I'm planning on adding a string of lights under each shelf to kind of just light it up a little bit and then probably one in the ceiling as well. That bathroom gets a ton of light. I chose to instead of covering with the window with like a window covering or blinds or whatever i chose to cover it just with that film stuff um tinted film i can't remember which one it was i think it was the crackled glass look and that you cannot see through at all we i've gone outside during the day at night shining lights and stuff and you can't see into the bathroom at all so it's kind of perfect but that still allows a ton of light to come in at the same time as just keeping it minimalistic and simple. I probably should redo it because it has a little bit of imperfections on it, but not many people are going to be seeing our bathroom, so I think it's okay. Um, when we did start this bathroom, when we finally had a plan and had somewhere to go with it, it was actually pretty quick to finish. Um, 
the tiling took around maybe two, three days to do, and then the flooring was a little bit harder. We had to take each piece, stain each piece individually with waterproof stain, and then line them up perfectly as we went. Um, some of them are imperfect, of course, but I think that's just part of a project that we did ourselves and makes it a little bit more special. Um, again, I will leave the color stain that we use down below. And as far as drains go, we chose to have drains that you can see. So the slats on the floor are going straight down. The water will be able to run through the slats on the floor and into the drain, which will go into the tank. So all of it worked, but it kind of just makes it look more simplistic, clean, just fine lines making sense and hiding the drains. We got extremely lucky. I went to Lowe's and I was looking for more of a long skinny drain that could fit because we have such a long space. I wanted to be able to have a drain right under the shower and then one across as well. Um, and this worker said that he actually had drains that were $224 each and he was going to give them to me for $10 each. He had had them sitting there for a while. They didn't want to ship them back to the warehouse he totally forgot that they were there so we got so lucky okay i'll get it for you just a second we got so lucky and had an amazing deal and got these perfect shower drains they didn't have to look super special or super sleek but they, they did um, because they're under the ground so everything so far has worked out nicely the bathroom has been done for over a month now and i've been extremely happy happy with it um so i think this that's it. This video didn't really have a lot to talk about because the bathroom is such a small space, but I wanted to start introducing you guys to our home and the projects that we've been doing in it, and I thought this would be a good start because it's pretty much done. It's at a place where I feel happy and confident in it and, and in its function as well. We've loved the way that it's worked out for us um, for the time being. So I will have all the products linked down below. Um, if you have any questions, you can't leave them on YouTube now because of the whole new rules and stuff but if you guys have any questions you can follow me on instagram i have a regular instagram that's just life kids whatever and then i have one that's more geared to our travels and the bus so if you'd like to follow those um the bus instagram is just florence on fourth and it'll show you good job um florence on fourth and it'll just show you guys the progress of the bathroom as we went ahead and some of our other projects that we've done in the bus we are going out of town for Christmas, of course, socially distanced with masks and being tested and such. Yeah, it is. Um, but after we go out of town, we will be coming back and showing the boys' bedroom. It is not done, but it will be done by then. So we'll have another space to show you guys and let you guys see into. Again, on Instagram, I have a lot of reels of, of what the bus looks like and different you did and other sneak peeks and stuff so if you guys have any questions ask away on instagram i hope you guys enjoyed this little piece of our home and being able to see and what it looks like and what some of our process was like so i look forward to making some more videos about this it's kind of exciting that we're finally at a point where we can start showing more off so thank you and i hope that you guys all have a wonderful day and happy holidays bye guys you cute.